Hi everyone and welcome to another match in my Tooth & Nail series. We're on the play and this hand is skippable, so let's lead with Arbor Elf. Okay, opponent is wondering if he keeps his hand or not. I mean, our hand is basically a six card hand with Emrakul in it, but otherwise it's pretty good. It has one drop into one of the three drops, but we'll see. Okay, opponent mulligan down to six cards. Let's see what he's up to. Okay, Tron. So this hand is not particularly good against Tron. But maybe Carnage Tyrant will do something. Okay, opponent already has two Tron lands onto the battlefield. And he looks for something with Ancient Steerings. He finds Ugin. Okay, so... and a map. So there's go the Carnage Tyrant plan. Okay, I don't have enough mana for Panglacial Worm because that's 5, 6. So let's just fetch. If I fetch, I have 6, 7, 8, 9. Or maybe I could... Wait, I have 7 mana exactly. So I can put both Emrakul and Carnage Tyrant as a the battlefield. So let's do it. Let's grab a forest, make seven mana, and we'll we'll use tooth and nail with a with only one mode to put two creatures onto the battlefield. And see if opponent has uh, what do we what does he need? Like little Karn into bridge or Big Karn exiling Emrakul. Okay, so it's Big Karn. Okay, so we're in big troubles. Because next turn he will just cast Ugin. Okay, that's six, seven mana. So let's get rid of Karn and hope we can close the game with Panglacial Worm. Okay, is there the Field of Ruin? Sure. And the X is 6. Sure. Let's make mana. And let this resolve. And we'll get Panglacial Worm. Okay, Fierce Empath, but not enough mana to cast any 6 drops. Ugin ticks up plus 2. I wonder, should I attack Ugin? Or just attack opponent directly? Let's attack the opponent and pressure his life total. Okay, we'll search for two lands, put one onto the battlefield tapped, and play another one. And with that we're passing. Okay, there is the worm coil. So opponent is getting the absolute nuts. And Oblivion Stone to top it off. This is not looking good, but let's just attack Ugin. Ugin will die regardless. Yeah, 6 damage. Opponent is left with 2 worms. Okay, this that's 6 mana, so I will probably get Primeval Titan. Or maybe I... Maybe I should take World Breaker, but I don't have 7 mana right now. Ha, huh, tough decision. I mean, opponent has Oblivion Stone, so it doesn't really matter if I get World Breaker or not. So let's just try to ramp with Primeval Titan. Okay, 
I'm surprised the opponent is playing Field of Ruin. That's not something you see in many Tron decks. Opponent is chaining some chromatic stars and spheres, trying to draw into something. And there's the Olamog, so the absolute nut draw. We can't beat that. Okay, against Tron, Dumping Sphere comes in, and that would be about it. Cards that are not that good in this matchup are Carnage Tyrant, Elder Scale Worm, and... I mean I could play two, because I'm on the play. But let's keep three and get rid of Atarka. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, there's the duo we don't want. And besides, that's a no lander, so we have to mulligan. Okay, absolutely nothing to ramp into, but there is some ramp. Huh. I will risk it. Opponent mulligans down to six. I'm naming red with Utopia Sprawl, just to scare him. Oh, there's the Dumping Sphere, that's great. Okay, Tower, Power Plant, so we'll be, he will be searching for a mine. So let's play Blast Zone, that will be six mana. We need one more for Panglacial Worm. Okay, opponent got the forest, so maybe he has something like Ancient Steerings. World Breaker, that's fantastic. Okay, that's four, five, six mana. Opponent searched for a mine, but he still has Expedition Mat open, so we're not likely to deprive him of Tron mana. So let's just cast World Breaker and try to slow him down a little. Yeah, there's another mine. Now all he needs is something like, I don't know, Oblivion Stone or Nature's Claim. He still has the forest in hand. Okay, opponent gives up, so he didn't have the nature's claim. Okay. No changes to the sideboard, let's go into game 3. Okay, there's the hate piece. Nissa into world breaker. Okay, let's see what happens. Chromatic sphere from the opponent. Oh, Utopia Sprawl, that's a good draw. It will allow us to cast Nissan turn 3. But for now, Arbor Elf and pass. Okay, two Tron pieces and a Sylvan Scrying fighting the missing one, the mine. So, let's fetch for a basic forest, play Utopia Sprawl and Dumping Sphere. With that will pass. I'm going to name green because I can get red with the fetch land. And attack for one. Because we can make use of the mana anyway. Okay, opponent plays the land. Star and a map. How much mana do I have with castle? Four, seven. Exactly seven. I have Damping Sphere. Should I be careful and play World Breaker first? I'll save it just in case he plays Oblivion Stone or something like this. And will lead with Nyssa.
Okay, what did you get, opponent? Okay, Urza's tower, another Sylvan Scrying, third tower. Okay, so we got this. Fetch land makes six mana. Okay, that's eight. Untap the forest. Cast World Breaker on Urza's mine. And we took Dagon Tron. <laughs> 